Hi, this is Thomas LaFoe from the Instructional Media Center at Mississippi State University Libraries. In this tutorial, we'll be looking at how to insert landscape page numbers in Microsoft Word. The guidelines we'll be following are the ones put forth by the Mississippi State University Graduate Council. When a table or a figure requires horizontal or landscape placement, the page number must be placed at the bottom center as though the page is still in portrait orientation. We'll look at using page breaks to isolate the landscape pages, unlinking the sections, and customizing one of the default page number options in Word. For this tutorial, we have two pages that are set up, and we're going to insert a landscape page between these two. At the bottom of the first page, after the last line of text, I'm going to select Page Layout, Breaks, and then Section Breaks Next Page. And I'm going to repeat this step to give us a blank page 2, right between 1 and 3. Now that this is in a section by itself, I can click on that page, choose Orientation, and Landscape. I can also go to my Home tab and paste a table that I've copied from another source. Now as you can see, it puts the page number at the bottom of this page, and we want to get rid of that. So to do that, I'm going to double click in the header of page 2 and unlink. Then I'm going to do the same thing for the footer. Click Link to Previous. And I want to do the same thing on the next section so that it's not altered when we delete that page number. Now scroll back to page 2 and delete the page number from the bottom of that page. The page number that we now want to insert is under Page Number, Page Margins, and Large Left. With this page number, I can highlight it, go to my Home tab, change the font to match my document, in this case Times New Roman, Change the point size to 12 points to match the document. And I also want to check my paragraph spacing. I want to make sure that this is single spaced and that there's no space after the paragraph. Now I'm ready to select the text box and make some changes to it. So click right on the edge of it, click on Format under Drawing Tools, and then click on the Call Out button for Shape Styles. Here in this box, I want to select Text Box, choose to reshape the size to auto-fit the text, change my internal margins to zero, and uncheck the box that says Wrap Text in Shape. This, you can see, gives me a small text box that's just the size of that page number. Now I can move over to text direction and rotate this 90 degrees and change my position. Click on more layout options. Here for the horizontal, I'm going to choose absolute position, one inch, to the right of page. For the vertical position, I'm going to choose alignment centered relative to the margin. Click OK. And now that moves that text box into place. Under the header and footer design, one thing you want to check is to make sure that your header and footer don't move this page number around. This can be done by clicking in the header and changing the header from top to something less than an inch, just as much as it's not moving that page number around. And same thing for the footer. Just make sure that that page number is centered. Once you're done, you can click Close Header and Footer. And now you have that landscape page number on page 2 here, with our other page numbers continuing onward in the rest of that document. One thing you want to be careful of is to make sure that your margins and that your table don't overlap this page number, as you can see here. One very easy way to fix this is to go to Page Layout, and since we're in a separate section, we can just change the margins to 1.2 on the left-hand side. And this will just give us ample room to where that page number is not covered up. Click OK. 
And now you can see if I highlight that, that the page number falls outside of the text margin, but still within that one inch. Now if I want to add this to my Word template, so I can then use this without repeating all these steps, double click in your header, and then click on the edge of that text box. Under Page Layout, you can select Watermark, then Save Selection to Watermark Gallery. Here I'm going to name this Landscape Page Number. Save this in the Page Number, Page Margins. Put this in the Plain Number category. Type a description. Save this in Building Blocks and click OK. Now when you close Word and open it again, it will remember that. And then from your Insert tab at the top, you can select Page Number, and you'll see underneath Page Margins that you have a landscape page number. Remember that the guidelines followed in this tutorial are from the Mississippi State University Graduate Council and may not apply for other universities. If you have any questions about the steps seen in this tutorial, please email me at tlafo at library.msstate.edu or call 662-325-6781. If you have specific formatting questions on formatting a thesis or dissertation at Mississippi State University, visit the Office of Thesis and Dissertation Format Reviews website at library.msstate.edu thesis. Thank you for watching.